Amphipatic Alpha Helix. This is part 6 of a 6 part series. The aim of this segment is to illustrate how sidechain properties influence the properties of an alpha helix. In part 1 you will identify the alpha carbons in the backbone from which the sidechains project. First, identify the free aiming group at the end of the alpha helical backbone. This is the end terminus. Identify the tetrahedral carbon connected to the end terminal amino nitrogen. This is the alpha carbon. The prong which points slightly upwards on the alpha carbon is where all amino acid sidechains connect. In step B you will make the end terminal residue into lysine. Attach the grey bond from lysine to the upward facing prong of the alpha carbon. In part C you will identify the alpha carbons in successive amino acid residues. The end terminal alpha carbon is flanked by the end terminal amine and a carbonyl group. The carbonyl is connected to the next amine through a peptide bond. In part 2 you insert the amino acid side chains in sequence. Insert the side chains onto the upward pointing prong in the order of lysine, glutamic acid, phenylalanine, leucine, serine, cysteine, valine, aspartic acid, asparagine, isoleucine, tyrosine, and finally alanine. In part 3 you will study the chemical nature of the helix. Observe the nature of the side chains which project from the opposite faces of the alpha helix. One side is hydrophobic and the other is hydrophilic. This is an amphipathic helix.